Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Alright guys, we are um, in Newport Ritchie and just getting some little booty so I can go in and take some photos. I've already got my, my safe zone set up. Both the owner and the dog had passed away. Um, it's kind of sad when I, when I got here, the owner's sister was kind of kind of distraught. She just doesn't under, she just doesn't know. Uh, she's thrown important paperwork away. She's been trying to work around uh, where her sister was. This is one of those heartbreaking stories because both the owner and the dog had passed away. And let's go take a look. The deceased sister was just hugging me and kissing me and thanking me, he called me an angel, and can't believe that I'm doing stuff like this. Uh, so it kind of hits here on a level when I have to deal with family like that. Um, I love it. That's why. That's why I'm here. This is why I do my job. So I'm here. My energy levels are not here like they normally are. They're down here. I am dealing with a chest cold, uh, probably from smoking. Uh, that was a joke, because I'm not gonna quit. Um, I'm just tired, and I don't feel good. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I should have stayed in bed all day, but when a job like this comes in and I speak to the family and I can hear how grateful and how thankful they are that I could come to their rescue. It kinda kinda changes things and it, it takes me out of the bed, out of my bed with my dog snuggling and I come out here and change lives. It's what I do. So the she passed away in the bedroom. And you can see it is right there at the base of the dresser. I'm taking photos. Uh, this is an insurance job. So everything, of course, has to be documented. This is bigger than we were thinking. Because you can see in the, in the carpet, a little space, but when you check with the indicator, the blood is around the, the walls, it's in the own floor, so it's kind of a bigger job than we were thinking. So, I need to FaceTime Laura. Because now we have to remove the walls. Hey. I figured it's easier to video chat than to call you. Okay. Oh man. Oh Dragons. yeah. No, this is so much more. No. <laughs> I'm so sick. I don't feel good. I know you don't. Make Juan do everything and you can sashay your way around the apartment. Juan, you're doing everything today. I quit. I'm sick too. I'm so Juan's sick. like, I'm sick too. Fuck this. Yeah, we've we've both got it. I think Juan got me sick. Yeah, I think so. And Juan just verified. He goes, yeah, I think so. I told you guys not to make out. Yeah, the Juan was kissing me. I couldn't help it. I know, I know. The human body is an amazing thing. It's like chicken grease, right? Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just spraying the degreaser on the floor. 
That way, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. Kind of cut through the grease so we have a safer spot to work. It's so hard to breathe today. Absolutely unreal. The amount of bio that's in here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot. So the second part that, uh, that we're gonna clean up today, which really breaks my heart, is um, where the dog was found. We don't normally do that, um, but after almost two full weeks of no food, no water, the AC being broken, um, the dog had passed away as well. So right here, we're going to we're going to steam clean, steam clean up the tile. Not working. Yeah. I think it was so long day. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here still in Newport Ritchie. Um, we are nearing the end. So a bid for four hours has taken us, by the end, eight. Um, if you look, I have a square cut out. Juan and I had to remove an entire square of these tiles um, with no AC. The grease was unreal. The fat had actually just separated the tile and it pretty much had eaten the glue. So over here, we had to completely remove the kick plate on this wall here because it had gone in and underneath into the exterior wall. So what we had done is we'd extracted it and we're getting ready to seal it just for extra precaution. Over here, we had removed the first part of the uh, base plate and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to seal that there. <laughs> that would be you so bad. <laughs> it's just shaking it and going all over the place. Since we're coming in here to remove all of the carpeting anyway, next week once the ozone machine is done and the family has found the belongings and things that they need, uh, we actually removed for a safety net for the family just our walking path of carpet. Um, there wasn't any biohazard on it, but just for the family member's sake and since we've already got, uh, got the job coming back and removing the apartment, um, everything in here. We just did it safely uh, for their safety, excuse me. So in here, you can see I have my ozone machine. It's not on or I'm be suffocating. Um, we sealed the floor in here up about three inches on the wall and we sealed the studs. So we extracted everything out of here uh, just as a safety precaution. Again, always better to cover our asses than uh, then not cover our asses. Um, we sealed up three inches, sealed the floor, and we removed all of the carpeting in here to help with the odor. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go home and drink a nice big cup of Theraflu after our second job because we just got a water job. So it is almost five o'clock and our day is still continuing on.
Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching season two. We hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like, share, and comment what you want to see more of. If you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified of new content every single Thursday. Thanks for watching.